optometric paper in Word. And before I start with that, I'm going to show you uh, what isometric paper looks like or uh, the basic measurements um, that are needed. Um, I do have a cube with a, um, with a side of one centimeter. And if I take this uh, rect, uh, this uh, shape over here, and divide it into triangles. I see that um, I do have a, a right um, right angle, and then I can use the sinus for uh, for getting the length of this side, which I need for the raster. And then I am gonna use the sinus of sixty degrees because I do. Um, work with 60 degrees in the isometric paper and then I have um, <coughs> x and um, the length of x, x would be 0 0.866 and so on and I'm gonna use half of it so I am going to use 0 0.43 um, for my paper and uh, um, to to have a better drawing of the the dots when I'm um, drawing dots in the isometric paper, you're gonna see later on. And let me start. Before I start, I'm gonna show my raster, and I'm gonna change the raster. Before that, I'm going to add another um, command and. Over here, I am going to show all commands and search for the free form, uh, free form shape. I'm going to type in F, and then I do have the free form down here somewhere. Free form shape. Gonna add this and move it up. Just under the arc and say okay. And then I'm gonna change the grid lines. Um and then uh, I am going to change it into zero point four uh, zero point four three. And I'm going to show each vertical and each horizontal. That should be it. And then I can start. Uh, before I start, I'm going to show you the free form. And uh, when I work with that, and I've got the uh, docx format you see it doesn't orientate on the raster on the grid lines and therefore I'm going to change it to the old format um, I'm gonna save it on desktop and call it ISO isometric and then I'm gonna change it to this format 97 to 2003 and save it takes a minute and now I can use the free form and it will uh, it will orientate on the grid lines you see that it jumps always um, like this and this is uh, I think a huge advantage um, if you compare it to the new word Doc X, and then I'm gonna start by drawing form like this. I'm gonna zoom in, and I am going to draw this shape. Double click. Um, if you if you draw something with this form or shape, and you make a mistake, you can use the um 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 oh 
I don't know what it's called. Uh, this cave, I think. Some button to um, erase the last last dots. Um, and then I'm going to add this line and this line. And the old format works quite well with the grid lines. I am. The new one, there are some bugs in it. Uh, Microsoft might fix it in a while, I hope so. But um, for this purpose, the old format is uh, quite better. And then I can group this whole thing. And it's grouped now, and I can change the color. Um, in the new one, I cannot change the color by this. So I'm going to right click on here and change. Uh, take format auto shape and there I have the line color and change it to the star gray say okay and then I can duplicate it with the control button and take the whole bunch duplicate it over here just another one yeah that might be enough zoom out Take the whole thing, group it, and just duplicate it underneath. And if you unselect the grid lines, you see your isometric paper. And now I can draw my first cube. Therefore, I'm going to use the preform and draw it like this. First one. Second one, and the third one. Oops, Don't do that. Raise it. Start over again. One click, another click, another click, another click. Last click, <laughs> and change the color to dark gray this one to a lighter gray and then group the whole thing and now I can build my first cubes on the isometric paper and create some worksheets for students. Uh, the second method for uh, creating Isometric paper is with dots, not with these lines. That's a little bit harder, but uh, I'm going to show you as well. At first, I am going to tr create a circle and then change its size to 0 0.05 and change its color um line color to dark gray and also the fill color to dark gray and then i'm going to draw this rectangle and another one and um on this shape, I am going to try to put it right on the intersection of two lines and duplicate this over here and also the intersection of two lines. And then I am going to put this one in the back and this one as well. And then change the outline of this one to white. Um, I can use the brush to put it on this one as well. And then I am going to group this whole thing and start on the left and duplicate it again. Then 
to keep the whole thing. When it's too much, then I can group the whole thing. And duplicate it underneath a couple of times and also create worksheets by putting oops oh I didn't group the cubes yeah okay I'm gonna try it over here group this one yep that might work and put it over here and put it in front and then I can duplicate as well and create some worksheets and it doesn't work quite exactly but if you use the control button and um, the steering uh, key buttons then you should be able to draw as well some some shapes on some cubes on so this form of isometric paper. This looks like this. Works for me. If you need some support, or you want to suggest some uh, topics for new videos, or you want to exchange some documents, I'd be glad if you join my Discord channel. The link for the channel is in the video description, so I hope to see you there.